Hey everybody and welcome back to Pierce Gaming News. I'm doing a little bit different today. Let's talk about PlayStation Now. I saw this this morning. I'm just going to talk about a few things here quick. It's not going to be too long of a video, I hope. But uh, PlayStation Now launches a subscription-based whatever for the PS4. It's starting January 13th, and it's going to be $20 a month. That's pretty crazy. So basically, now the it's allowing gamers on um, on. <laughs> Unlimited access to its library of over 100 PS3 games. So players have been previously able to rent games through the PlayStation Now, but the new service will allow full feature, full access to PlayStation's library of PS3 games. The subscription will allow gamers on PS4 to play games for the previous console that they didn't get the time to or didn't have. Basically, er. No, Sony will offer a one-month subscription, like I said, for $19.99, about £13 a month or a three-month package for $45. I really don't see the point of this at all. I never got the whole game streaming thing because you'll never own that game, you're just paying. So 20 times 12 is 240 That's $240 a year just to stream games I don't see it I never got it the only way I can see I guess it being a common thing is if you didn't own a PS3 cause then I guess you can pay for the three months but $45 for three months is still still a lot of money or maybe for people who play through games like really fast and they just want to get done, but all the games on the list were like old, old games. I don't know. I don't really get the whole streaming thing. Oh, I almost forgot to mention that it will be a seven day trial when the service launches. I'll probably try it to see how good it is, but it's probably not going to happen. I'm set right now with the games I have for my PS4. And I own a PS3, and all the games I want for PS3 I already, I already own. So there's really no point for me to to go in and buy a streaming service. And there's another article that I saw is Microsoft forms super secret Xbox team that aims to push the envelope. So basically, this article just talks about a new team has formed in Microsoft's Xbox di Xbox division with a specific purpose to push the envelope of today and tomorrow's technology as we explore new ideas from the ground floor. So I wonder what that means. I want to say it's going to be virtual reality. I think I talked about that in a few videos ago. But it's kind of mind-boggling because like what what can Microsoft do next is what I was wondering. Cuz what's after virtual reality? I thought of maybe like I watched this one video on YouTube, it was some guy on like a platform, and he was like running, but he was running in the game too. So I wonder if that will come into play next after virtual reality gets taken care of. I don't know. It, it, I just thought it was a pretty cool article to share real quick about what, what else they can do to uh, further push the gaming industry forward. But I don't think, back to the online streaming, I don't think the online streaming will take off. I hope not. Because that's not where the future of gaming is, I don't think. Unless I'm wrong. I could be wrong. But I don't think it's there. I don't think, I don't, I don't see myself ever in the future playing, paying for a service but not ever getting something in return, if that makes sense. Like, you never actually own a physical game, so I don't know what. what's the point. But then people will be like, oh, Netflix. No, Netflix is 
for me, I don't watch a movie more than once, rarely. Because it's like, you already know the ending. Why, why waste another hour and a half to two hours of your life watching the same thing? So yeah, that's why it's not... If maybe if they lowered the price to 10 bucks a month, they'd be really competitive. But as for right now, the 20 bucks standpoint, not going to happen with me. And lastly, I'm going to talk about, I got my uh, 970 graphics card. I played Far Cry 4 on Ultra Settings. It's nice. I was playing at 60 frames per second. It's smooth. But I think I capped it at 60, so I, I could have been getting more. But that graphics card is really good for the money. If you guys are looking for, if you guys game on PC at all, I would suggest getting the 970, because the 980 is like 550 bucks. I mean, obviously it's nicer, but you're better off just spending, you know, 350 bucks on the 970. Because, I mean, it does the same thing, basically. If you're not like a hardcore, you're not going to notice... A difference which I don't notice a difference but yeah that's what I want to talk about today guys I'll probably make a video tomorrow yeah I probably will it might be up later than usual because I'm gonna go get a tattoo tomorrow so it'll be all right it'll pro I think I'm gonna get my tattoo around 4 central time so the video might be up around 8 or 9 it might be really late but I will for surely make a video tomorrow look forward to that and I think that's it Oh no, Alpha Sapphire, I was playing that for a little bit, I like how I said this video wasn't going to be long, but it's going to still be pretty long, but Alpha Sapphire, that game is pretty fun, I played mm, 45 minutes, and that's, it's a pretty fun game, if you guys have a 3DS or anything, I would suggest buying that, but yeah, Alpha Sapphire is going pretty good. I'd probably give it a 9 out of 10. Maybe even a 10 out of 10. I don't know. I usually don't give games perfect ratings, but probably 9 out of 10. Unless the game is amazing, then I'll give it a 10 out of 10. But, alright guys. Make sure to like, comment, favorite, and subscribe. And follow me on Twitch, Twitter, and Facebook. Down in the description. I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Have a good one.